In October of 2020, Boom Supersonic unveiled its latest and most ambitious project to date, an aircraft that could fly you anywhere in the world at a maximum of four hours for $100. Almost two decades ago, the British-French turbojet-powered supersonic passenger airliner Concorde stopped operating due to costly operations and environmental damage. But the Boom project could prove the second coming of high-speed travel at a fraction of the cost and even wholly carbon neutral. We're still a few years away from discovering if the gamble pays off, but this supersonic commercial aircraft could undoubtedly revolutionize the aviation industry. Boom Supersonic. Reviving the supersonic dream left behind by the Concorde's retirement in 2003 would seem like an unattainable fantasy. That supersonic jet flew for over three decades and was an environmental threat as well as a highly expensive endeavor. However, several new startups have been working on their own supersonic projects for the past decade. In October of 2020, Boom became the frontrunner as it unveiled a demonstrator aircraft. Founded in 2014, the company is now backed by world-class investors and a team of over 140 full-time employees. In an article written by CEO Blake Scholl, he asserts that, quote, Boom began as a vision to make the world dramatically more accessible. Inspired by Concorde's technology and the human connection enabled by faster flight, we set out to build a new era of supersonic travel. Scholl stated that Boom's supersonic needed to be fundamentally different from Concorde if they wanted to stand out. Although the French-British company was a marvel of its time, it was economically and environmentally unsustainable. Instead, Boom learned from Concorde's mistakes and is on the path of building its own business foundation based on three core principles to guide their every decision, speed, safety, and sustainability. Boom plans to create supersonic aircraft that is affordable for passengers while still being profitable for airlines. They also plan to reach economies of scale with millions of passengers. In addition, Boom intends to create a plane that produces less noise than its predecessors, and that has built-in support for low net carbon alternative fuels, meaning that it will be able to operate as an environmentally sustainable airliner. Baby Boom. In the October presentation, Boom unveiled the XB-1 supersonic demonstrator, making it the first independently developed supersonic jet. The aircraft was showcased to a group of aviation and aerospace executives at Centennial Airport in Denver with a virtual presentation and a conference. In the official press release, Scholl referred to the project as, quote, an important milestone towards the development of our commercial airliner, making sustainable supersonic flight mainstream and fostering human connection. The XB-1, fondly referred to as Baby Boom, is a one-third scale tri-jet supersonic demonstrator expected to reach Mach 2.2 speed with over a thousand nautical miles of range. The device is powered by three General Electric J85 engines. The company selected a team of industry experts to design the Baby Boom while generating relationships with the best suppliers and building a solid safety culture around the device. After the Baby Boom's 2020 rollout, the demonstrator will complete its ongoing extensive ground test program before heading to the Mojave Desert, where it is expected to begin flight tests in late 2021 or early 2022. But Boom has claimed that this project is just the beginning. When the Baby Boom breaks the sound barrier during test flights, the company will move forward with the development of the Overture. Overture. Boom's long-term project is Overture, a supersonic passenger aircraft designed and committed to industry-leading speed, safety, and sustainability standards. According to the company's official website, the aircraft's objective is, quote, to bring families, businesses, and cultures closer together through supersonic travel. Its name was chosen, quote, because of what it represents, the beginning. Our first supersonic airliner will be the opening of a new era of sustainable high-speed flight, one that is faster, more affordable, safer, and more convenient. In an interview with CNN, 
Scholl mentioned that the company's goal is to keep travel costs close to $100 so that traveling is attainable for everyone. The aircraft is designed to seat up to 88 passengers and is based on comfort, productivity, and privacy, featuring in-seat entertainment screens, personal space, and even contactless technology. The finished aircraft will focus primarily on transoceanic routes. With the Overture's technology, a trip from Los Angeles to Sydney would be cut down to only eight and a half hours, while a journey from New York to London would potentially take only three hours and 15 minutes. In addition, new parts would be 3D printed in less than 24 hours, saving both time and financial investments. And Boom would become the first commercial airplane manufacturer to commit to a carbon neutral flight test program, as the net zero carbon aircraft is intended to fly on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. According to an official press release, the commercial airliner hopes to begin civilian flights by the end of this decade. United Boom Even though the Overture aircraft is still a long-term prospect, several companies are starting to bet on its future. On June 3rd, 2021, United Airlines announced its decision to purchase 15 Overture airliners once the aircraft meets its safety, operational, and sustainability requirements, with an option to acquire 35 more if the results are successful. Boom CEO Scholl asserted his elation over the airline's decision, quote, United and Boom share a vision. We believe in a world where more people can go to more places more often. That's a better world for us all, unlocking new possibilities for business relationships, prospects for vacation, and opportunities for human connection. The speed of air travel is key to enabling all of that. United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby then added that, quote, Boom's vision for the future of commercial aviation, combined with the industry's most robust route network in the world, will give business and leisure travelers access to a stellar flight experience. Our mission has always been about connecting people, and now working with Boom, we'll be able to do that on an even greater scale. The Future of Aviation According to Blake Scholl's interview with CNN, Boom is highly aware that their project is risky. Quote, Either we fail or we change the world. That barrier of time is what keeps us apart. We believe it's deeply important to break the time barrier, more so than the sound barrier. While talking with the interviewer about the trip's cost, he admitted that the $100 price tag will take time. Experts predict it could take up to three generations to reach Boom's expected goals in technology, development, and breakthrough. Since the baby boom's introduction, industry experts have also stated that the company's goals are bold, yet feasible. According to Professor Sean O'Keefe, an aviation expert at Syracuse University, quote, It's an audacious goal, and sometimes that's what it takes to get somebody who really believes in their capacity to do something like this, to actually make it come to be. Thank you for watching our new Dark Tech channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our newest content. And let us know in the comments below if you'd like us to tackle any specific subject.